So, CSGO's developers have lost their fucking bananas. We're already used to the dumb shit that CSGO's developers have been doing, but these new skins take the fucking cake. For the average player like you and me, it's very hard not to question the intelligence of the team behind Counter-Strike's look and feel. All these godforsaken updates, month after month, year after year, and then they just leave us in the dark for a full year. No decent updates, no operation, nothing. So for a full goddamn year after Operation Hydra, we spent time in the mines doing nothing but waiting for Valve to take a steaming dump in our ever-patient mouths. Alright, I can take the wait if we actually get something decent. And then we get this panorama update that still doesn't compete with some like Dota 2's polished, beautiful looking main menu and it's garbage. So you've got Valve strip teasing for months on end, telling us panorama is gonna be the shit, but then you get a chick with a dick. You know those games that you download off of the internet or you just play them in the browser and they kind of prompt you to download a plugin or something because they're better than the average flash game so they're not gonna straight up run on your browser without any additional uh, help? Well, that's exactly what CSGO is. You look at Valve's other games, like like Dota, for example, and then you've got CSGO. <laughs> but enough about Panorama, let's talk about what's really bothering me, the skins. This new update that Valve threw out is unheard of. I don't think Valve has released even two knives at once before, so someone at Valve thought it would be a good idea to shit out four knife designs that nobody fucking asked for. So let's take a look at them, shall we? The first one with some potential is a Navai... Nav Navai... knife? I don't know, but one quick Google search will tell you that this could have been an awesome fucking knife. I mean, look at this shit. It looks goddamn badass. But nope. CSGO's developers decided that it would be great to make it look like something that your grandma would cut stale onions with. So there, there it goes. It just looks like a shitty version of the Falchion Knife, which is already a very cheap skin, so what I think CSGO's developers are trying to do at this point is introduce knives that are going to be in the sub-$20 category. And then there's the Talon, which is literally just a Karambit. If you do a Google search for Karambits, you will literally see the Talon's design on the front fucking page. So why does this thing even exist? Number 3, the Stiletto Knife. I didn't see this knife at first, and someone told me it was going to be in-game, and I already had a great fucking image of what it would look like in my head. And they completely fucked it up. They fucked the handle and made it look like another item in the kitchen drawer. None of these knives look like they belong in combat. Except the last one, of course. Let me show you. And I've saved the best for last. And it's a minigame, okay? Go ahead and tell me which one of these knives is the default CT knife, and which one is an upgrade, which one is supposed to be a skin, which one you're supposed to unbox. Don't worry, I'll give you a few seconds. That's right. The one on the right is the default knife. <laughs> the Ursus. I can't believe this shit actually made it in the game. I mean, this looks like a sick practical joke. I could genuinely make this at home. I'm pretty sure I got the design right. This is pretty much what the knife looks like, right? I just need to color it in now. So at this point, you're probably thinking, come on, Wild Deity, if you're, if you're so fucking smart, why don't you give us some ideas for knives? Come on. And well, I'm glad you asked. Let's do a few Google searches and see what else we could have gotten. We've got the Kukri that it looks like it belongs in TF2, but when we have the butt plugs and we we look at the new knives that have actually been included in the game, this totally belongs in the game. Just look at this, the surface area on the knife would look badass as hell if you pop out a fade or a slaughter, and you, you feel me, right? And then the tomahawk. This looks a bit off, but it would be small enough and would give us a change of pace and would pave the way for new interesting concepts to enter the game in terms of skins. And then there's a... I present to you the Microtech Yacht Commando Dagger. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I just had this guy do it for you. So this clearly doesn't look like it would be a practical real-life weapon, but I, I mean, we're talking about the game. Think of how dope the animations could be. There could be some very interesting skins for it too. I mean, think, think of it with a tiger tooth, for example. It took me two minutes to Google this shit. I don't know what the fuck they're doing over at Valve HQ. 2019, baby. 